Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Miss Donna Sue. Hi, Sheila. Happy Sunday. How's your weekend going so far? Oh, my goodness gracious. I didn't even clean my desk. Well, I mean, the glass mat. <laughs> Good evening, Jill. Hi, Miss Edie. How are you? How is everybody's Sunday going? It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in California. It's super, super sunny and nice and warm. It's gorgeous outside. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hi, Sheila. Um, yeah, so I actually went outside for a minute because I was having like these hot and cold flashes. Same thing as always. And um I opened the garage and it was it felt like that nice warm feeling. I'm like, oh yes, I can't wait till this weather stays for a bit. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Cheryl. Um, Cheryl. It's okay. You can, most of the um, comments and activity happens on my personal page. Um, and that's, you know, it, it's, it's better if we were all on my business page, right? But I didn't start out doing stuff on my business page. So everybody's on my personal page and it's really hard to start over. So and basically starting over is trying to get everybody to go over to Terry's Crafty Creations. But because of the things that happened, for instance, Friday and like a week ago, I am always streaming on Terry's Crafty Creations and on YouTube all, and my page all at the same time. So if anything like that ever happens, if you don't have my um, Telegram or you don't, you know, if you look on Telegram, I'm going to tell you where I'm at. And I'm always going to post on my personal page what has happened. Because the chances of my stream going down completely is if I lost total internet. And that's not even going to happen because I can grab a hot spot off of my phone. So if you ever lose me again, because it seems that they keep doing this to me as far as thinking that there's music in my video and the sound bites that they're grabbing are just me talking. Um, you'll find me on Crafty Terry's Crafty Creations or Terry Lightsey on YouTube. So yeah, it's just hard to start all over, but that's why. Um, hi, Sandy. I'm making tomato sauce, so I thought I would watch you. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Helen. Hi, Miss Shauna. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Brenda. Thank you, Margaret. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sandy. Hey, sister. Hi, Trace. Um, that's okay. All righty. So we have a new project. Um, hi, Lori. Hi, Linda. That's weird. I see more over here. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just, I wish that I, but I, the, I've been doing lives for years as far as like events and we always just did it on our personal pages and I didn't expect to do any type of business out of it until it was already too late. So it's all right though. Um, I just more importantly want you guys to be able to find me if I ever just take off like that again. Hi, Leona. Thank you, Julie. Drew C. Hi, Marianne from Australia. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Hi, Becky. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Joy. Thanks, guys. Hi. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Sharon. All right. So um, tomorrow is Decoupage Queen's spring release. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't even stand it. Like I have a headache thinking about, <laughs> thinking about it because I'm like, ready already i want to use everything already thank you brenda beautiful and uh, it's gorgeous here today pick some flowers Ooh, hi sue myrtle beach ah that sounds fun it's going good renee how about you 
Hi, Ari. Hola. Troy Troy is soaking up the sun, too, y'all. He's taking his TV tray, his computer, his drink, everything. He's, like, posted up in the backyard right here on the other side of this wall, actually. But he, him and Onyx and Jack, they keep going in and out, just enjoying the sun. So, you know. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Hi, Debbie. So, yes, I'm so super excited for um, Decoupage Queen spring release. I cannot wait so that we can start using some of their gorgeous papers. But in, in saying that, right, I can't use anything just yet. So... We are going to do, I. it's a little Easter bunny. I know it looks kind of evil right now because I, I sprayed it with bonding primer. Um, little Easter bunny from Hobby Lobby. I have two of them, the one that's actually laying and then this one that's kind of more, you know, upright. And um, I thought, I don't know, I've been really torn with what to do with the bunny. Um, I kept looking at it last night. I was thinking... I might want to decoupage it, and I know there's a lot of, you know, stuff going on, but it can be decoupage. Hi, beautiful Catherine Kelly. How are you? What was that? I seen something about 29. It's 29, but sunny. <laughs> the heat wave. <laughs> 50 is a heat wave. <laughs> so, anyway, so... And then this is just a, you know, small silver tray. We will paint this. I'm thinking about pulling out my, um, my rose gold delicate metallic. I haven't used that in a while. And I thought that would be really pretty up here at the top. And then, um, you know, on the inside here, I'll figure out what to do. But yeah, I was like, wow, I have not used my rose gold in a while. It's been neglected and that's not nice. But now that I'm looking at some other colors, <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. Okay. So you guys know that is one of my favorites, but let's get these base coated first. So I'm just going to get some Waverly plaster and... These are both had bonding primer on here since, I don't know, day before yesterday. So it's sitting on here for at least 40. I, I know. Cindy, I knew when I looked over, you were going to be in the comments. <laughs> Beautiful and western. Kansas, sunny. 80 degrees. Wow. That is odd, isn't it? Hi, Kathleen. 80 degrees? Really? Is that just today, or has it been like that? Hi, Lynn Perkins. Hi, Diana. Happy Sunday. Hi, Nicole. 80 degrees. Goodness gracious. I don't know what we're at right now, but I know it's like a comfortable, like, 70 at least. If maybe a little warmer, but it's, it's so nice right now. Hi, Lynn. All right, so I am just going to, again, just get a base coat of the um, Waverly plaster down. You don't, I always say you don't have to do this. Your bonding primer is, you know, already down. I quite like to give it just an even coating. Um, the bonding primer really is just serving as you know, something that's giving you tooth, allowing for your paints and whatever else you're doing to it to stick. So that's why I kind of go over, give it a more opaque, opaque coat of a uh, base. So yeah, my hair, I just gotten out of the shower, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. And I always put it up, uh, while I'm, you know, doing my makeup or whatever. So I let it down and I walked outside and I felt like it just dried right up. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm driving home from my mom, so can't respond until I'm home in an hour or so. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, hi, Sharon. I seen you on. I thought I seen you on, but YouTube works fine. 
I wonder why. Did you, I know that there was an update, Sharon. You might have to um, do the Facebook update and then it might let you in. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Hi, Sandy. So did you all get out and do anything this weekend? <clears throat> Like I said, it, it was really nice yesterday. We didn't get out and do anything, but it was really nice yesterday. Um, today, so beautiful. Troy has just, he was outside all the way until I had to tell him to come in last, last night. I say last night, but, you know, when it's starting to get a little darker. But he was just enjoying himself. And, you know, it was so funny. He was... Um, Obviously, there's a fence back there. He's, like, looking through the cracks of the fence because the neighbor was outside working on his car. And so he's just looking outside, looking through the cracks, peeking and seeing what everybody was up to. <laughs> it was funny. I didn't tell you guys. I told Nicole. Um, so Trevor had thought that he lost his big um, cup. And um, it's a huge, like, you know, huge what he takes to work and, you know, um, puts his drink in or whatever. Well, anyways, Trevor, Troy, you guys know, I always say Troy Troy has a thing for cups. He's always wanting to change cups. He always wants the cup that Nick's using or Trevor's using. Anyway, so Trevor thought he lost his. And so I ordered two new ones and I figured... You know, I'd give one to Troy. Well, Trevor ended up finding his. And they are both, the new ones are about this, are this big. Can you see how big this is? Troy Troy was so excited to have his own. But he, you guys, I found him in the bathroom, drinking out of it, looking at himself in the mirror like this and smiling. I was like, really, Troy? Really? You're going to be your... Okay. That's how we're doing it. <laughs> we're in the... He was just... He woke up in the morning. The next day, he woke up. And he's like, you know, all glossy-eyed coming, walking out. But he's holding that big old jug. I'm like... <laughs> and smiling. It's the little things, I tell you. The littlest things make him so happy. It's so funny. But yeah, I couldn't believe he's in the mirror looking at himself, smiling at himself. Like, really? Really? That's how we're doing it? I know. Yeah. And it, the thing is, is that thing is so big that it's covering up his face. And he's like, all I could see was the one eye <laughs> looking. But he had a big old smile. I said, oh, Good cuggly muggly, this kid. Okay, so I will paint um, the bottom of the tray and the bottom of the rabbit um, off camera. Caught up at five yesterday, then went to the organic market for breakfast, and my little girl, aw. He's perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, just giving these a base. Now, I did pull out some moss, and then I have some, like, small little eggs, because obviously I want to put the bunny in there. Put moss down, and then we will do some something to the eggs, which I should probably grab out and paint. Uh, let me find them. I have a bunch here, but I think these will be... I just want the smaller ones. Let me just grab... They're just little wooden, little wooden eggs. Um, that's Dollar Tree. I'm, I'm pretty doggone sure that's Dollar Tree. But it looks like I have some loose ones. So and I even have like a couple of carrots in here too. So, but let's paint. Um, let's see how big these are. 
Let's paint at least a couple of these. Manny and Teddy. Woo! Hi, Helena. I like that you had a me day. That's awesome. Everybody needs to have a little me day. Whether it's just, you know, sitting outside, drinking coffee, or just some downtime for yourself. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then let's just... These are all going to... This is going to get my hands all painted, but that's all right. Because I'm thinking whatever we do, we'll decoupage these little things. That'll be cute. Instead of just painting them. Probably could have did all of this prior to, but you know. What happened? I'm restless, live or working on my daughter's wedding. She went to the emergency room for severe pain and was told she needs a complete. Oh, Deborah, I'm so sorry. Oh, heck no, Nicole. I got um returned to cinder. <laughs> Just remember, the uh, mail goes both ways. The mail goes both ways, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. I know. Hi, Barbara Ross. I'm glad you had a me day, too. Did you guys do the photo shoot, Nicole? I didn't see if you were if you posted anything, so I don't know. Did you do an OD photo shoot? I bet you OD had fun if you took him out to the park. Oh my goodness, Vanessa, thank you so much for the stars. Hi Teresa. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Return to sender. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see them. All right. Let's dry these and then I'll dry do the tops and bottoms. Hi, Mary Casey. How are you? Yes, definitely. Many, many prayers to you, Deborah, and your daughter. I'm so sorry. I can't imagine. What? Well, good thing there wasn't any paint over there. Where did it go? Oh, Lord, Troy, what is? what are you doing? By the time you're done, son, you're going to have half the house outside. Holy guacamole. He keeps coming in and taking more out. Coming in, taking out. Hi, Patty. I bet it felt good getting out. Like I said, I just opened the garage and walked in. Just walked out and... The sun hit me, and oh my goodness, because I was, I will tell you guys, I wasn't feeling too well um, 30 minutes before. I, I just, I don't know, like my stomach was, I think I know what it was. I had some lemonade, and it was too sweet, I think, and I can't really, I can't do sweet. Um, and so I just, I, I wasn't feeling well, and I was getting like, the cold chills and then hot flashes on top of that. So I was, I was thinking, oh, man, I don't know. And then I stood out in that sun, and wow, I. it was just a few minutes. It was crazy. I instantly felt better. Do you have a code for would you been? Yes, I do. I didn't put it in my link. 
What? I didn't put it in my link tree? Let me show you what it is. Thank you for telling me. I'll make sure to update my link tree. I thought I did. There you go. Hi, Barb. How are you? I'm cooking eggs, y'all. I'm cooking eggs. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Martin. Hi, Susan Stocking. How are you? Oh, no, I didn't, y'all. I'll show you what the box is looking like right now. So, um, so right now it's got the, so it's got the dark, right? It's sitting up. I don't know if you guys can tell it's up. So I molded clay around the keyhole. So now I just have to, I did have to do a couple more things to it, but yeah. So that's what the box is looking like. Um, scrambled eggs, right? <laughs> I mean, I figured that was an easy enough way to dry it. Because I was losing control. They were all floating all over the place. So, um, hold on. Troy's over here needing me to fill up his big old gallon. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just have a couple of more things to do to it. And then I'll put the, um, the couple of resin pieces around it. And then, um also finish the inside of the keyhole and then inside, but the inside won't take me long. <laughs> Sharon, you're so funny. Okay, so we are good there. Our base is good. So now let's figure out what I'm going to say. So I know I have five. Let's figure out. So I know I want the pink, the rose gold up here on the trim. I'm trying to think what I want to do to the inside of this. I'm almost thinking that I just want to paint it. Um, let me show you that. I hear you, son. What is it? I'm thinking that I almost want to just keep it like a a white gold. So this is the Posh Chalk um, white gold metallic paste. Uh, like I said, we're going to put some um, moss down in there. So, you know, I don't really need to do too much to the bottom. Really high winds in Colorado today. I hope I don't end up in Kansas. Oh, goodness. Good cuggly muggly. So, this is the metallic paste. Um, I'm actually thinking about putting a little bit of the white titanium down first. I think I am. I'm going to put some of the um, titanium down first um, just to get a really, you know, white opaque covering down there. Um, hey, if you're calling, see Onyx to go out with him. Hi, Nancy Church. You're having trouble finding napkin rings? I just down, down, huh? It just dawned on me I could use wood you been. Couldn't, you sure could. Absolutely, you sure could. Okay, so your metallic paste a little does go a long way. I'm actually going to scoop some of that back up and put it in. My um, discount code does work on the Posh Shop products as well. Um, I am going to, you can mix it with water. You can mix it with your pigment infuser. I'm just going to take a little bit of the pigment infuser and mix that in there. So we're starting off with the white, the titanium white. And it's going to have a little bit of a sheen to it as well. And then we'll put the... Um, white gold on top of that and then the rose gold up around the the pretty trim um deborah have you looked on totally dazzled for napkin rings i'm just saying 
They go on, so on sale all the time. And they have some beautiful napkin rings. Thank you, Nancy Church. So, I don't know if you've had a chance, but I would definitely, you could definitely use wood you been. The thing is, though, you're going to have to be, you know, heating that up and, you know, um, constantly messing with it to form it to the, the, the circle, which is completely doable. But I do know that you are doing already a lot um, as far as making all of this stuff. So you might, I would definitely check on... On Totally Dazzled. And then you guys know I have... All of my links are always in the description. And the discount code. And if I have a discount code, it's always right next to the, the link. See how pretty that... I don't even know if you guys can see. But it's it's very pretty. And then we'll put that gold on there. Now, I've said it before, the delicate metallics are excellent as far as coverage goes. And they're probably the only metallics that I don't worry about uh, painting, putting down black first. It's not necessary. In my opinion, you can do it, but it's you'll see how that coverage is when we go we go in with it so it is it's just a really pretty sheen you're welcome deborah i mean i have if if i remember i'll show you because i think you're doing rose gold too right but i have a couple of them just to show give you an idea of what they you know look like um Your Saturday Live was so cute. Diana sounded like me when she talked. Dina? Dina? Dina was, I love Dina. She's amazing. She had me cracking up, though, you guys. She, could, <laughs> she couldn't get the camera adjusted. <laughs> so she was literally climbing up to, onto her counter. Oh, my goodness. I think that's really why we both forgot to send out telegrams because I was cracking up. I It was the funniest doggone thing. She was like, it's short girl problem. <laughs> it's very, hi, Nancy. It's beautiful. How does your paint go on so smooth? Um, I use soft brushes and I always make sure that Whatever consistency paint that I'm using, um, how do I explain this? Your chalk paint, if you're, if you're using chalk paint, chalk paint consistency is usually a little thicker. Um, so what I will do to that is I will e either spray it lightly with my mister bottle because obviously the thinner your paint is and the softer your brush, the, the, the easier it's going to go on. So your brush strokes will be limited. The thicker your paint, the more you'll see those brush strokes. So that's why, you know, when I mix it with my um, the infuser, I want to make sure that I have a consistency that I know is going to not be too thin, but thin enough to move freely while I'm painting. I just got rose gold napkins. Yeah, I have them too. And they, yes, the napkins are always, the napkin holders always go on still. Um, and it, you know, they're beautiful. So it's a great deal. Um, all right. So now let's go in with the white gold. And again, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to take a little bit out. If I need more, I'll. Take more, but all right. So again, I'm just going to mix in my infuser. Again, you don't need the infuser. You can use water. So, and 
I no, it's so hard to tell because now my palette is the white gold has just um and I love when you know you see different angles um when there's paints that have those little shifts like that. So that way, you know, you, it's like a little bit of interest, different interest when you're looking at it, you know, different ways. All right, so let's get, again, no, she changed her mind. She wants gold. <laughs> oh my goodness, Deborah. <laughs> Oh, that's right, because I remember you were saying you were doing some tests or some samples for her, and then, you know, she was going to pick, so that's funny. Okay, so same thing. We're just going to go down, and oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I, I know we're going to be putting the moss in here, but I'm not going to fill it up, obviously, so the edges will be seen. So if you ever do feel like, you know, your paint is, is giving you brush strokes, there's no reason why you couldn't just take a little mister. Don't drown it. Just take a little mister and spritz it a little bit and it'll move for you. That is just so pretty. Okay, let's dry that, and I'm going to just go over it one more time. Because it's white on white, I, I, it looks like I've gotten it all, but just in case. If the plaster you use, is the plaster you used earlier color? Plaster. Oh, um, the Waverly? The Waverly plaster? Yes, it's that's the color. It's the Waverly chalk paint. Excuse me, Waverly chalk paint, paint and the color is plaster. And I usually just get this at Walmart. So here is the, so that was the base that I used. Thank you, Lisa, for spreading the chaos. Then she saw the gold deluxe picture. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> You're welcome, Carrie. Okay, so again, I'm just going to take a do. Looks like I got it all, you know, just to be safe. Just going to go over it one more time. What you doing, boy? What you doing, son? Bubba boy. What you doing? I hear the door opening and closing, opening and closing. All right. Swap that back over on this side. And then... All right. Thank you, Nancy Church. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, I think you're looking for this one, bud. It was on Mama's desk. Is that what you're looking for? Ooh, look at those eyes light up. That's what you were looking for? Okay. So, again, just going to make sure... Need to get you some more pop socks mm. so you stop trying to pull that one off and putting it on everything. Mm. 
That's exactly what you mm. just did, right? You pulled it off. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, Troy. Mm. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Mm. 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 I just I just said I need to get you more pop sockets because you keep pulling this one off. Was that a metal tray tear? Yes, it was. Yep, I just um I've had this one. I picked it up at probably, you know. The Salvation Army. Mm. That's usually where I mm. I find a lot of mm. my mm. metal. Mm. My mm. silver, I should say. What am I doing with this, Pops? Putting it in the case for you? There you go. All right. I'm actually glad that we did another mm. coat because mm. mm. now you can mm. really see that mm. gold. Mm. Mm. I don't know, bud. Oh, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. By your desk. It's in the kitchen by your desk. All right. Let's see. If you oh, you guys can see it when the light hits it. Yay! Thank you. Okay, so now I'll just dry it just a little bit, and then we'll come in with the um, <clears throat> delicate metallic. And then for the bottom of the tray, or the yeah, so on the sides and everything, I'll end up painting the whole tray rose gold on the outside. I'm trying to think if I wanted to do it the I think. Hi, Miss Wanda. Hi, Michelle. Did I say hi to you? I'm sorry if I missed some of you guys. Hi, Callie. So, um, after the the base coat of the Waverly plaster, I put on the posh chalk. Metallic paste in the white titanium, and then I put on the white gold. All right, so now let's cover this puppy that away. So now I am going to just take a flat brush that's a little tighter packed because I'm going to need to get into this detail a little bit. So. Um, and then let's get the white, the, <laughs> thank you, Linda. Were you born and raised in California? Yeah. Yes. I was. Um, I've, I've moved away from California quite a bit, but I, I keep coming back here. So, but yes, for, yes. I mean, you know, when I was younger, we lived in Hawaii for a while. Um, and then, come on down. And then, you know, I went to Arizona. Um, Nevada. I know, different places in California. But, yeah, for the most part. I was born in California, and then most of my childhood was in California. So, as you can see, this is why I love the um, the delicate metallic so much. Now, you can see how smooth that looks, number one. And then it's going right on this white, and... Without having a dark base, you can see how gorgeous this color is. I remember the first couple of times I used this color, um, everybody was trying to figure out what the heck. So you guys are sleeping on these delicate metallics. Now, they're all over the place. Everybody loves them. All right, so I'm just going to do the thicker parts first, what I can really get with the brush, and then I'll come in and get the smaller detail. Yes, it is, Patty. Hi, Dana. 
Don't go crazy flashing products. I'm busy making a Stephen King reader diorama. Um, I always put the products in my description when I'm done anyways. And But if you're looking for something, um, I always have the links down below, period. So this is from TH Decor. My TH Decor link is already in the description. My Would You Been link and discount code is already in the description. Um, I don't think anybody's over there. Oh, so we have three people over on Terry's Crafty Creations. So if you're wondering where all the comments are coming from, they're... Most everybody is on Terry Lightsy, but if you're on Terry's Crafty Creations, you can actually use exclamation THD, so Tom, Harry, David, and that'll give you my TH Decor link to find the rose gold. And if you're wanting the posh chalk, you just need to go exclamation would you been, all one word, all lowercase. And I swear, this color just, I love, even the golds, I use the white gold, the dark gold. I've gone through many a jars of these, the delicate metallics. All right, so I think I've gotten what I can with the big brush. Now let's go in, I'll bring you out since I'm moving it a lot. A lot. Um, exclamation, would you been? Um, so can you guys see? You guys probably can't see, but it's W-O-O-D-U-B-E-N-D, -E Vanessa. Exclamation, would you bend? And it has, you have to be on my, um, you have to be on my Terry's Crafty Creations in order for that to work. If you're on my just Terry Lightsy, you'll have to get it from the description. Okay, so anytime you're doing detail work and you are using a flat brush, it always helps if your brush doesn't splay to help you get that straight edge. So. Um, I know sometimes we tend to, you know, just grab a flat brush. That's great. That's part of it. But what happens is if you get a flat brush and, you know, it does that, right? So it goes like that. That's obviously an exaggeration. But if it's doing that while you're painting, that's why you can't keep control of that straight line. So this one here that I'm using is a Princeton. Um, and then I also use these, which are, um, the Zen brushes, the Royal and Lane Nickel, but as long as you've got a, a tight, compact brush that's not splaying, you can come right in and do your detail work. I also have detail brushes that are in the description as well. Some of my favorite detail brushes I put in the description, and I just keep that there. Hi, Sandy Triplet. Hi, Tracy. How are you guys? How is everybody? We um had breakfast this morning, which... I don't, I'm pretty bad about eating breakfast, actually. But we had, um, Trevor wanted IHOP, so we had IHOP this morning.
And it's funny because the first sight of, of, you know, sun, all the neighbors are outside. You hear all of the doggone weed whackers and lawnmowers and <laughs> washing their cars. Well, you know it's supposed to rain tomorrow. <laughs> it's actually, we're supposed to have, it's supposed, this week is supposed to be cool again and we're supposed to get rain again. So, what's the name and number on the back you put on the tissue? What's the name? What's the name and number on the paper you put on the tissue box? The tissue box. Oh, Republic. It's decoupage queen Republic. And what else? I know I used two on there. They should be in the description of that video. Um, Antique Collections. Decoupage Queen Republic and Antique Collections is what I used on that tissue box. But yes, it should definitely be in that description. Um, okay, uh, follow a shade. This isn't the place to do that at. So I'm going to remove your comment. And this isn't the place for that. Sorry, friend. This is a crafting channel. We're not here for any of that. Thank you, though. I don't know, Troy. There. Sue, do you, do you see it or do you want me to get it? I want it gone, please. You're welcome, Sandy. I don't know. He's on one of the Facebook pages. Troy, Troy, Miriam says, hi, Miriam. I didn't even say hi to you. Hi, Miriam. No problem, Renee. Hold on, you guys. I need to get rid of this. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I just don't want anybody clicking on anything and then something happened to you guys. So I'm going to hold on, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, Lordy B. Hi, Jeannie. Oh, you that seems like you're going to have beautiful weather, Brenda. Hello, by the way. <sighs> I know, Miriam. I'm trying to find it where it is. Because I'm streaming everywhere, I, I got to look everywhere to find where it is. All right, you guys, just, I'll get them. I don't want to just, I don't want to give it too much attention, but please don't, um, comment or do anything to that comment because lord only knows what's going to happen and i can't see it for some reason i'm not seeing it
Thank you, Nancy. Yes, yes, Sharon, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at me. I'm so excited. I looked. I told you guys, I don't really look at um, numbers too much. I looked at my numbers. I only need 30 people and I'll have 3,000 followers. That's pretty cool, y'all. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I don't, you know, I don't ever, I can't even figure how m that number got to be, but I appreciate everyone so, so much. Okay, we only have a little bit more, and then I think we are good. We just have these little swirls here. Also another tip too, which I'm seeing is gonna be a problem if I don't stop. Uh-huh, see? So when your your brush goops up like that, you're just gonna, you know, need to wipe it off so that way you can continue with your your straight edge. Otherwise, you're gonna knock that goop off. It's not goop, it's you know, paint, but. Oh, uh, thank you, Joanne. I moved. Yeah, Lisa, but I don't. Everybody runs their pages differently and I don't I don't mind them. The fact of the matter is Facebook gives you a chat bot which puts in links. So me putting in links, the chat bot putting in links, it's all the same. Um but, you know, everybody runs their page differently and to each their own. Um I'm not big enough to be worried about that stuff. And again, until somebody from Facebook tells me why they say they have a share button, but we can't say share, or why they have a chat bot that puts in links, but they don't want us to put in links, I'm, until somebody can make it make sense to me, I'm just going to continue doing me. So, but... I will continue to put links in for you guys. I will continue to, Sue will continue to put links in until somebody from Facebook can explain to me why things don't make sense. I'm not trying, I'm not the one trying to get 10,000 views. I just want the people that I have here. So that kind of stuff doesn't, I don't conform. I've told you guys that. <laughs> I don't conform. I do what I need to do to make it easier for you guys. Especially if you're looking for something. All right. Look at how pretty that is. I am a rebel. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hi, Bernice. I mean, it is. Don't say share. Don't say share. They're going to kick you off. But then there's a share button. Really? Don't put in links. Don't put in links. But then there's the chat bot that gives you links. Really? I it, That kind of, that doesn't make sense to me. And I, if it doesn't make sense, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't conform. <laughs> I mean, they're saying I'm singing and I'm not singing. So, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's all, it's all crazy to me. <laughs> no, I'm not, Sharon. I know. And 
the thing is, is the last time they did that to the video, I reposted the video, right? Because I felt bad for people who would have been looking for the next video. This time I didn't do it. And I feel like I should do it so that people can see that, that video. But then you watch. As soon as I do it, they're going to release the other one. And then I'm going to have all... I don't know what to do. I mean, it is on my YouTube if somebody's looking for it. So, I don't know. It's just, it's bananas. I know I have an annoying voice, but good coogly moogly. I'm not singing, for goodness gracious sakes. Okay. Again, I will paint the under and everything else, but I want to at least make sure that I have it all done here. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think underneath should be the pink or do you think we should do the white and the white gold? God, that's pretty. We will not conform. <laughs> um, Dina, it, no, I, I'm perfectly fine with you guys watching on Facebook. The only thing that makes me crazy is when I, you know, get lost and no, you guys don't know where to find me. That's what makes me crazy. <clears throat> white, white. Um, <laughs> thanks, Renee. I'm here because I need to learn products, how to use them, love more than anything the way you teach. Deborah. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Okay. White gold. So you guys think all of this should be white? Okay. All right. So that is going to be, like I said, that's going to be our tray. So then our bunny and our moss will be down here. And then now... Here's the thing, y'all. Even as I'm sitting here with you guys, I still don't know what I want to do with the bunny. Should we decoupage the bunny with like, like a pink, like the Coach House Cottage paper, which is like the pink and white? Should I just... Do we... I don't know, because I kind of want, I know I want to put velvet powder in his ears, because you guys know I'm about my velvet powder. So velvet, pink velvet powder in his ears. And then I just ordered them to paper on your, I just ordered them to paper on your page. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Sandy. White on the bottom, white. Okay, I will, I will do it white. Ears and the tail. Oh, the tail. We can definitely do the tail um, velvet powder inside the ears. But I need to know what to do to the body. I would paint her white with pink highlights. Because can you guys see how it has all that texture in there? I, okay, hold on, because it's going to throw us all off that there's so much white, white, white. So let's put a little bit of the moss in there. Nine. Spanish moss or green moss? Hmm. Gosh, this stuff. Source, they, I, it's so funny. Some of the, the, look at that. Like, where the heck? Twigs? <laughs> Spanish, Spanish. I'm thinking the Spanish just because I kind of want the, like, the neutral color and not so much of, like, a, the stark green. Um.
and obviously I'll, you know, take this out later, get rid of all the little flakies and then just put down big pieces. So that way I can get it to stay in there, especially because for shipping, I don't want a bunch of loose little pieces. Okay. So let's see. some of that out but actually hold on let's just do it now okay so if we paint him her I mean I guess we could do it white like the same whites that we've done and then decoupage the eggs or we could velvet powder the eggs. Oh, wait a minute. We can chrome powder the eggs. Hold on a minute. Got the tissue box from Hobby Lobby. I'm so excited. Oh, Sandy, please post it in my group. I want to see it. That's what I was wondering, Patty. If we have white and white and white and white, is it going to be too much white? Or do we do like the. Ah, hold on, y'all. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's do the titanium white. And then let's use either the pearl gold. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Bunny pink. Okay, well, hi. Hi, Carol. Okay, so let's do, let's put down the, and then I already have my pink um, velvet powder that we've mixed a few times ago. So that is the pink, the white, and the tan to make that color. Um, we'll do that on the ears. We'll get some white for his tail. But let's get a base of the titanium down first. Which will give him that very pretty sheen. And then we'll rub it with one of the golds and see if we like that. <clears throat> A perfect pale, yes, the um, the velvet powder. But y'all, I have chrome powder that we could put on the eggs as well. We can do um, gold eggs and pink rose gold with the chrome powders. Oh my goodness. Today's going to be a brush washing. I don't know. I don't I say that all the time, but I wash brushes every day, so All right. Why did I just put it away? <laughs> yes, exactly. I think so too, Carla, and we haven't used chrome powder in a while and actually we actually have some of the met metallic cracking paste that we could put on like one of the eggs too so we could do a maybe a couple of different fun things with the rose gold to these because i have you guys i love rose gold so i have rose gold in everything decor metal Deluxe paste, metallic paste, chrome powders. We'll find. This is going to the full. We can put a crown. Okay. I'm going to. What's happening? I seen I blinked on there. Let's get the comment, the banner off. All right, so let's come in here. So this is just the 
titanium white. So this is just going to be basically our base. It's how we started, you know, so we did the Waverly plaster and then we are doing the titanium white. I love that you shared the add the infuser to the case to paint with the paint. Oh, the pigment infuser? Yeah, you can definitely use your pigment infuser. If you want to use water, you can use water, but they both work great. But it's going to be so cute to have velvet powder in his ears. Little tail. Okay. I think Onyx is <laughs> outside with Troy. It's so funny. He keeps going outside, but he wants to make sure she goes with him. Yep, I hear her jumping on the door. She wants in. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that because it's got all the detail on here that we don't have any paint that's, you know, hold on, Onyx. I've never seen what chrome powder looks like. Oh my goodness, which gold is the middle container we're looking at? This one is the 20 ca 24 karat. So 24 karat, pearl gold, and then the shimmer glaze. So this is posh chalk, and this is pint art. And I will pull out my there you go thank you troy thank you son let her stay in for a while okay pops hi sweet mama girl was troy troy holding you outside <laughs> he said no you stay out here and play with me okay it's such a pretty, I mean, just it's just white, but it just gives such a pretty sheen. All right, as that dries, let me pull out my... So this is chrome powders. And so this one is, I already know, this one's the rose gold that we can use. And then we have the gold. So we will definitely use chrome powders on a couple of them. And then I also have um, let's see if I can pull it from the back here. I also have the cracking metallic paste. So this is cracking paste. Um, but it is the metallic in rose gold. So we can do that on an egg. God bless you, son. And then we can do something else, something like velvety or something. Oh, we'll definitely do the champagne on one of the eggs. I mean, they're small enough, right, that we can kind of do a lot of fun stuff that maybe we haven't used. And then we also have the decor metal in rose gold. You guys haven't seen it? What? What on earth? Y'all have been missing out. Good cuddly muggly. All right, let's dry our bunny. 
guys have been missing out. Definitely. We can definitely do that, Barbara Ross. The shimmer glaze right here, Miriam. Okay, so. He's sweet. So sweet. All right. Okay, so let's get. So what are we thinking? Should we, should we, because what it is, is I want to just wipe it back, right? Um, I don't want to necessarily have a gold rabbit. I want just that, 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 you know, glaze, if you will. So, hi, Luann, how are you? Okay, so let's take, since I do want to wipe it back. Now, you can wipe back either of any of those as well. Um, but this one is super easy. I need to find where my poker tool is. And you can... Wipe it back with a wet wipe. You can wipe it back with a cloth. Hold on, y'all. My wheels are turning. Okay. So let's get some of the shimmer glaze and see what we think about that tone on there. Let's start with his back here. I might not even wipe it back, we'll see. So can you, can you not? No, you can't, hold on, let me fix the, there we go. So if you can see, it's just giving that, like the kiss of the gold, right? I don't even think I should wipe it back. See, and I don't think you guys can even give me your opinion because you're not going to be able to see it much when it's wiped back. I don't, there might be some areas where I will spray because it's going to gather. There's just some like, you know, things that are happening onto the bunny, if you will, that's imperfections in the ceramic. So like right there where it's grabbing a lot. I'm going to. Kind of try to get that off of whatever that is right there. Do you like that? Yeah, no wipe. Don't wipe it back. If this is a girl, she needs a crown. <laughs> and pink cheeks, definitely. We have a lot of crowns. We can definitely put a crown on her. That's pretty. Pity, it's pity. I 
it just gives it enough that it's not, you know, we could still see that pretty titanium under there, but it's just got that really pretty glow. Hi, Betty. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, Carrie. She looks perfect. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I get it. I don't want to miss anything. I will, like I said, I will paint the bottom. And... I'm, cut, I'm avoiding the tail because I've told you guys, when you use your um, your velvet powder, you want it to be the same color as your, you want to paint the same color as your velvet powder. So I'm just avoiding the tail just because I wanted to put like a, not a stark white, we'll probably mix in a little bit of tan with it, but I do want to put velvet powder on the tail okay I don't like what's happening right there it's it's too much and that's gonna happen because it's dried right there and then I went back over it and it pulled And then we got to do the eyes and the nose. Okay, and I will get just the outside of the ear because, again, on the inside, we need to do pink. Okay. I'm going to dry it a little bit so I can lift it up because I know I didn't get around the mouth at all. Thank you, Luann. She would look great with the soft rose gold stuff. Soft rose gold stuff. Soft rose gold stuff. Okay, now let me pick her up so I can, yeah, I did knew I didn't, couldn't get to the, her mouth or a little chin. And we'll get a real detailed brush and get in here for the, the lines right there for her nose and her mouth. Okay. Wow. I didn't even get behind her ears. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, and I don't like what's happening right here, so let's just... So cute. All right, let's dry it. And then I did pull down the antiquing gel because I do want to put some shadows in. It is. And tomorrow we have more crowns on the launch. Oh, yes. Decoupage Queen. So the launch. The re spring release is going to happen tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, won't have to wait too long tomorrow. It's going to be early for me. Me either. 
Okay. So now let's take another brush. And we're going to come in with the, let's go in with brown. That's okay, Carrie. Thankfully, we have replay for especially for reasons like that, right? <laughs> Thank you, Bernice. Okay, so I'm coming in with the antiquing gel and especially um, like around the feet, around the mouth. So I'm just going to come in. I know this part always looks like we're ruining it. But I promise we're not. So I'm just going to, and I tend with this to only work in little areas at a time because it will get away from me, at least I, it does me, anyways, um, with it drying. So. I will, I only want, you know, little bits at a time because if I, if I do the whole bunny, then I'm working way too hard to, to get what I, the look that I want. So then I'm going to come in with my brush and I'm going to spray it and then I want it to work these areas because I don't. You know, I just want the shadows. I don't want it to look like it just stepped in a bunch of mud. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I still haven't cut this towel down. You would think I would remember by now. So we're just going to come in and just give it a little bit of... dimension and it's still if you can see our gold all of our gold is still there it's just bringing in some dimension so that way it's not just a flat gold which always looks a little funny to me when there's nothing no you know depth brought into it know what you mean <laughs> Muddy paws. Um, I'm always on at Eastern time. I'm always on at four Eastern time. So I'm always on at one o'clock Pacific, four o'clock Eastern. Unless it's creative hour, then I'm on an hour earlier. Okay. And then just going to get. So I like my fluffy brush because it helps me get into like areas I can't reach with my finger, but then it also softens it and moves it around for me. And it just gives it a perfect shadow for me. So. These brushes I have finally remembered to put into my Amazon store. They are makeup brushes. I've been using it for years. I know that, um, you know, others have been using them and they enjoy it too. So it just has enough, you know, fluff when you're doing shadows and waxes. And if you notice that your brush is, you know, depositing more than it's taking, just wipe it off. Because you want this brush to stay fairly clean. Going to look in your Amazon store? 
<laughs> yeah, if you have my telegram, I I am the one who sends those notifications. So I always send out a notification uh, wherever I am. If it's on Decoupage Queen or, you know, wherever my page, I always send out the notification. So can we see now? I just did the bottom intentionally. I didn't go higher. So you guys can see that all of that gold is still there, but it just brings mm -hmm. in dimension and depth mm -hmm. to to what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. What are you reading? I see you. What are you reading? Mm -hmm. Um, Hobby Lobby. The um the bunny is from Hobby Lobby. I actually got there's two of them. One of them is laying more like it's laying, and then this one is sitting up a bit more. So I probably won't get to using the other one this year. So Troy, you gotta let Onyx in. Pop, she left her outside. I hear her. She's tapping she's tapping on the uh the slider. You can't leave her out there, baby. So again, we're just going to See? She's calling you. She's saying, "Troy, Joy, no, don't leave me out here." <laughs> Thank you, bud. And with the antiquing gels, you can always, you know, again, wipe back, leave as much as you want. I quite like what it's doing on the ears. It's almost making it look like hair, which is pretty cool. Have you seen the egg-shaped cloche at Hobby Lobby? They are so cute with a bunny up in there. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I did send one yesterday. I did send a telegram yesterday. It was just, we had already started. <laughs> I sent the telegram and I said, I'm on now. Dina couldn't because she was on her phone, but so I did send one yesterday, but it was, it was not a warning. It was now. <laughs> okay. So there's our bunny now with, again, I know it looks weird because the eyes aren't done, but we'll get the eyes done. Okay. So let's put our bunny over there. Let's get some of the um decor glue on there the decor tacky so we can do the what you call it the velvet powder and while we're doing the velvet powder we will do some of the eggs so first of all with the ears i do want to grab a very light pink and paint inside of the ears, just, just so, I always tell you, just in case you miss a little piece, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to stand out on your velvet powder, so. All right, so I'm just going to take a small brush and... Get in here with these ears. Yes, it's it's really, and it actually um, it's white, and then it has just a little bit of like like black dots on the bunnies for them.
This ear. Hi, Bubs. Where's the other woo woo? I don't see Jack. Okay, let's get that out there and then a little higher right here. And then the little nose. Should we do the little nose pink? Or no, probably not, right? We'll do the nose black and then in the inside uh, black. And then if we want to do some like pink on the cheeks or whatnot, I have um, like a wax we can do. Hi, Debbie. Is that the syrup? Is it what? What happened? Rose gold delicate. What is the pink color around the top of the bowl? It is the delicate metallic rose gold by Pintart. Okay, so a little bit of pink in the ears. Um, the tail we're going to do white, cuddly moogly. So let's dry the little ears and then we'll put the decor glue tacky and then we'll do the eggs. How are you, Debbie? So good to see you. Okay, so let's put some of the decor glue tacky in the ears and on the tail. And I'm not too worried, like I said, about the tail. Ways they don't want it necessarily start. So the decor glue tacky is great for your velvet powders, your um, boils. But when you put it on, you do just need to give it just a little bit. Okay, got that there, and then, and I've told you guys this before, you want to make sure that when you're putting on your glue, that you put it on flat. You want to lay it flat because the velvet powder will grab and, you know, you'll have little lumpy bumpies. The way you put the way the glue is drying is the way the velvet powder is going to um, grab to it. So you want to make sure that is smooth. Okay, so you don't want to have it gathered in any. So if you leave it like that, so if you leave it like that, the velvet powder is going to grab and it's going. It's it's you're going to clearly see that something something's awry right there. So, okay, all right, now let's put that little guy aside. Hi, Chrissy, how are you? It's I'm fair to partly cloudy on oh, Debbie. Okay. So we know for sure we're going to do two of these little guys in chrome powder. There's a little bit of a thing that goes on with the chrome powder. Some feel that you absolutely use need to use dipping paint um, in order for it to work. I've showed you many times that that is not the case, but 
Again, everybody does things differently. So my way is not, you know, it's not saying that somebody else's way is wrong. So please just keep that in mind. I'm not saying that any that the way somebody else is doing it is wrong. I'm just tell, showing you the way that I do it, okay? So I do not use the dipping paint. I haven't ever since maybe the first time I've used this stuff. So, But you do need to have a black base. So let's paint these black. Aw, you got some baby love, some grandbaby love. Okay, so. Let's go in here. Paint these black because we're going to do one rose gold for sure and one gold. <laughs> we do what you tell us. I just, you know, I just don't want, you know, you guys to think that I'm saying somebody else's way is wrong or my way is the only way. I just, you know, that's the great thing about crafting, right, is, you know, there's so many different ways to do things. So you have to find what works for you and what you love to do. Okay, let's dry those. Hopefully they don't blow away. We've got a lot of rose gold that love the, uh, a lot of people that love rose gold. All right, and let's get the tops and the bottoms of this. Now, one thing that is absolutely important that you do need for your chrome powders to work is the transparent wax. So you do need that in order for it to stick, okay? So let's get these done, and then put that in there that away. So again, these are on my TH decor. So this is the transparent wax. Let's take out our rose gold and our gold. Put this guy over here to the side. And you want to use, you know, like if you have those old eyeshadow brushes, you know, look like this. That's perfect. I actually have a set of these in my Amazon's, Amazon, Amazon store. Um, so you just want like a sponge tip applicator, okay? Um, let's make sure the... Pops are dry. Okay. And then, yep, rose gold, rose gold, rose gold. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to clean my fingers so I don't get. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your transparent wax. Now, I'm going to tell you, you absolutely positively need transparent wax to make your um, pigment stick. But you don't need a lot. If you do too much, it'll do the reverse. It won't stick, okay? So I'm literally, this this here, if I was just going to use this for the pigments, this is going to last me a lifetime, all right? So I'm barely, you're not going to even see the wax on my sponge because that's how little I'm getting, all right? So I'm dipping it in there, and I'm even scraping it on the sides, okay? And then you're going to 
apply it. So we're going to work in sections with these just because, obviously, I've got to set it down. So now, if you can see, this one has a little bit of a shine, just a little, okay? Whoa, I need those sponges, let me guess. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Kim, how are you? So, just a tiny bit. If you put too much, it's going to do the reverse, and then you're going to say, how come it's not sticking? Well, if it's not sticking, that's probably why. So, again, I'm just barely, just tapping in there. And then I'm going to, you know, let's pick up the other one. So these sponges, I mean, they're, it's a pack, but it comes with, this is the largest, and then it gets really, really tiny, like almost to like the, the um, precision Q-tips that I use, tinier than that. So it's a really good pack. All right, and you can always reapply if you need more wax or what have you. You can always put more on there, but just start off with a little bit. All right, so now we have our transparent wax down. Now, y'all, I was on the wrong side again. Oh, boy, Terry and Troy, Troy, I hope you... Oh, Ann, you're fine. Poor Tom. Just don't blame me. So that's our rose gold. Here's our gold. And let's come on down because you're going to want to see this. All right. Why are we so dark again? Okay. So now I'm literally going to dip in the lid. Can you see that? So these are the chrome powders. And these, yes, are tiny. However, you will see they last a long time. So I'm going to pack that on there. I'm not taking the blame. <laughs> Look, guys. Can you see that? I mean, every single time I bring these out, I kick myself because. I don't use them enough every time. I, I know. So if you're getting a spot, like something's going on right here, that's all right. We'll put a little bit more wax on there. But. Holy guacamole, you guys. It's just amazingness that happens with these. So, black, rose gold. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Holy cannoli. <laughs> so, let's let that one sit like that for just a minute. And then I'll start, you know, twirling it around. So let's get some of the gold. And I'm telling you, King's Blue is my absolute favorite of the chrome powders. Um, but the Ruby, oh my goodness, Ruby is gorgeous. I don't know, all of them are, are amazing. So this is just gold. Again, just, I mean, they're magnificent. The way they go on and all of that shine, it's just, man, oh, man. I need some curl powders. <laughs> okay, so now let's, well, I'm left-handed, so I shouldn't have done that. Let's pick it up like that, come back over here again. When I dip it in there, I use the lid and kind of push down on that lid so that it's, you know, it's not loose on there. 
Oh, I forgot to do that spot again. It's all right. I'll show you guys. Okay. Now you do need to, um, I have a spray varnish that is up here somewhere. We're going to need to, you do need to put a spray varnish on these. Otherwise, it's not going to sit down. Okay. So I'm just going to take, again, a little bit, very little. Ah, my finger is stuck. And I'm going to come right here. And it's going to take off some. Wow. It's going to take off some. That's fine. Okay, then I'll come back and now I'll get where I missed, see? So what happened, it wasn't grabbing in that one area and I probably just forgot to put or just missed it with the um, transparent. Okay, I'm gonna set it down and try to figure out how I'm going to get it on the bottoms without handling it too much. There we go. Uh, over here. So pretty. That's our rose gold. Now let's finish up our gold. Hi, Phyllis. Yes, so this is just the Pintart Transparent Wax. Again, it's available at TH Decor. Um... All of my links are in the description, but I will also update with links, direct links in the video, or you can always message me because I have them all on a spreadsheet. So it takes me but a second to, to send you what you need. Okay. So pretty. And then let's, I actually think I need a little bit where I'm holding it. It's getting a little, I'm getting the wet, rubbing the wax off where I'm holding it down here at the bottom. There we go. Okay. Will a pin stick in the... This is wood. So, no. If you have the styrofoam ones, you definitely could, but I don't want to... I'm not going to fight with sticking a pin in the wood. They're, they're, little, they're little wooden eggs. Okay. So, then, before I start handling them again, I want to get my... So, this is the Varnish Mist Semi-Gloss. And I need to make sure my thing isn't clogged. Okay, wait, is it? Yep, it is. So one thing about the um, the varnish, the tip that I can give you is when you use this, after you use it, you need to take it to the sink. And um, is this going to be too big? It is. You need to take it to the sink and... Um, Rinse out your sprayer. Hold on, you guys. What are you doing, Papas? What? Oh, it pushes like that. No, no, no. No, that's Mama's. Hold on. I need a. I need to. Actually, I might just hold this in there. Here you go. Because what I don't want it to do is do a very splotchy spray. So, because I didn't clean that. It's going to spray crazy. There we go. So you just need. To I'm going to take a clean one. It will dry clear. You just need to spray it. With the varnish. And then actually let's just leave it. I'll rotate them and spray it. So what I mean by that is what I would do with this now. 
is I would just put it in my in clean water and then just put it in there and spray. Because the varnish is sticky, it clogs up. And if you guys can see, it's like shooting a straight line. And you don't want that because then it'll 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 mess up your um, your chrome powder. So I'll get some warm water because this is just cold water. I'll get some warm water later and do that with the warm water. But when you after you spray your varnish, your spray varnish, just spray. You know, just use some clean water and spray it so it doesn't clog. cheap chapstick which looks like a oh, I'm going to do that Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I just blinked. So once these are dry, you can handle them, and then that the chrome powder is not going to come off. So, but um, see, so now they're good. So now the chrome powder is not going to come off, and then we have our two little eggs. So those are good. And then we have our, and you can just, you know, save these, especially if you use them for colors. And just save them. All right, so now I will show you. We'll do the velvet powder. So I'll tell you, this one is my absolute favorite. This is King's Gold or King Blue, I mean. And then um, that ruby color. Oh my goodness. But for they are all, they're all beautiful. And then there's a couple of chameleons in there, of course. Okay, so that is that. And then let's get our, oops. Yes, it's, when I first used it, I used the King Blue and I was like, oh my guacamole, that's gorgeous. So I am going to get my white and my, Pan, and I just need a little bit of that to put on the tail. So I'm just going to mix it in a smaller cup. And I know we're going really long today. I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't, I wanted to try to get through as much as I could today because tomorrow I want to start a new project with the DQ papers. So. Okay, and then I'm going to just take a little bit of the tan just because I don't want it to be a stark, stark white. And then I'm going to use my little mixer. Dana, I didn't even say hi to you. Oh, yes, the gecko green is pretty, too. Like I said, I don't think there's one color that I don't like. Yes, Julie, they're coming out of hiding tomorrow at 12 o'clock Eastern time. 
Okay, so there's our white for the bunny tail. And so I'm just going to use the catch tray. I probably should have got my bigger catch tray, but you know. And then So then we're going to, oh my goodness, put that all on his tail. <laughs> Look at his little tail is fuzzy, you guys. I can't. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Okay, and then you just want to rub and make sure that you don't feel any more of that tack. And then just grab, you know, a fluffy brush and get off your excess. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, how cute is that? I cannot. All right. So now let's do his ears. What do you mean what's on the tail? I just put velvet powder on the tail. Do you mean what's under the velvet powder? It's decor glue tacky. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so now let's go in the ears. Same thing. Make sure you can pour some of that back instead of putting it into the catch tray. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, I'm just gonna rub it to make sure. What is that? White? Just rubbing it to make sure I don't feel any more tack in there. There's a little bit that's up above the ear that I didn't want, so I just took it off. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little fluffy and go in there. And then we'll do the other side. And just making sure there's any there isn't any tacky glue in there anywhere. Okay, and then just <laughs> it's so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at his lip. <laughs> I just imagine the bunny. There's something like a little Oh my gosh, is that foil? Is that like a black foil? It was. Hold on. I just imagine the bunny thumping his back foot because you are rubbing his ears. <laughs> There's a little foil flake in here. Okay, so there's his little soft little ears with his little fuzzy tail. <laughs> All right, so let's put that back in there. And then cover this up. If you guys remember when we made that, I just put it in this and then I don't have to make pink again for a while. Okay, right. done with these. And then let's take our, um, we need a universal cracking paste. And let's put that one on this one, which this one might have to get done after. So we're going to, this is essentially our step one, right? Clean, dry brush, 
I'm going to leave it white so that it will, when it cracks, it'll crack to the white underneath. So we're just going to put our step one on here. And I'm going to actually lay it down on my glass mat because I painted all sides. All right, so that's our step one. We'll let that do its thing for a minute. And then let's come in with the decor metal in this one is rose gold. So the decor metal is the one that we have used um, chocolate. Um, there's a bunch of colors. There's gold, there's um, turquoise, silver, gold. Um, this one is Oxford blue. So, and there's actually, what is this one? Bronze. So there's a bunch of colors in the decor metals. Um, you usually will want to make sure you give them a stir every time you use them. Okay, so I'm just going to take a popsicle stick. What's the name of the blue tray you were using and is it from? Yes, Dana. Um, they're both in my Amazon. Um, store i have a really large one and then a that smaller one that's in my store and i think they're called like bead catch trays um but they're both blue so make sure you look at the size because the other one is is huge i think i have it right here the other one is huge so unless you don't care you know what i mean just make sure you're taking a look at the size because the other one is this one. So, so there's two sizes in there. Okay, so let's get another one and let's paint this one. So again, it's just a really pretty rose gold. Oh, we got a little bit of Spanish moss on me. A little, it's actually a little different. I don't know if you can tell up you know, on camera, but it's a little different from the uh, metallic, delicate metallic. It's got a little more, um, almost like a, a glitter, but very, very fine. Try this. Yeah, it's it. It is right. It's it's just just a little different. Okay, and then now let's paint this on the little bottom. But yeah, you always do want to make sure to stir up your the metals, and you'll see when you when you open it that yeah, you need to stir it stir it up. Um, I don't know, Renee. Oh no, she used um sparkling blue metallic. She used the sparkling blue metallic. Those are the ones that are in the, it's the one that's in this little pot like this. The sparkling blue, the acrylic paint metallics. Okay, and then our other gold. Oh. <laughs> really? If you don't open, I'm not going to use you. Fine, I'll just use the other one. <laughs> I don't know what it is lately about opening my jars. Okay, so again, same thing with our deluxe paste. So the deluxe paste actually gives you a little 
bit of a texture. Again, very fine, but the texture is there. And on a white base and a dark base, it's going to be different. So on the white and the black, it's going to be different. So depending on what you're looking for. Hi, Joellen. How are you? So the metallics, um, the delicate acrylic and metallic and then the acrylic paint metallics, it's just a different line. Um, you know, there's just different lines of the metallics. I find that the delicate metallic line is very, very opaque and on its own is true to color. The acrylic paints, the acrylic paint metallics, you do need to have a black base under them if you choose to have that, you know, true color. Um, I don't do that when I'm doing my delicate metallics. I go right on white and you guys can see how how opaque that is. So So again, if you wanted to paint, you know, a black base under this, you could, but I don't mind it because it looks close to the bunny. Hi, Helen. I bet you've used 20 brushes. <laughs> Dana. Um Hi, Helen. Thanks for joining me today. You're a newbie from where? Where are you from? I'm in Northern California. Okay. So uh, let's paint where I was holding. Again, these just have, this one just has a really cool texture feeling to it. Um, it's not like an abrasive feel by any means, but you know, you know something, there's like a little texture. Okay, and then let's try that. Northern Ohio, oh, this is cool. Ah, uh, thanks, Renee. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, now we have our chrome eggs, chrome powder eggs. We have deluxe paste, we have decor metal, We've got a little bit of everything going on with our eggs. <laughs> and then I still need to do the bunny's eyes and the, um, I need to do the bunny's eyes and the nose and the mouth, but I've already been on here forever. So I will, um, good night, Sharon. Um, so I will start to crack this one and then I'll finish the eyes and the, the face of the bunny and the bottom of the tray off screen. So that way we're not here for like three hours. And then I will post pictures of it so that way I'm not keeping you guys any longer. So this is the metallic cracking. So as always, again, clean, dry brush. We put down step one. This is step two. But because I'm not going to be able to hold it while it's drying, I'll paint half of it crack half of it and then I'll do the other half off camera. Okay. All right. 
So again, I'm not going to be able to hold it because it's going to get too warm. So I'll just kind of set it down. Hopefully it doesn't pop out at my face. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, that's very cool. So it's gonna give. I'll show you guys what that what it's looking like because we put the left the white under there and then we're cracking the metallic. Let me turn my heat down so it doesn't burn my. Thank you, Jackie. So all of my jewelry is um, from Team BFF2. It's my friend, Monica. So it's all paparazzi. They're only $5, and she does lives every week as well. So if you're interested, she's usually on every Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern time. I don't know if you guys can see the cracks starting to happen. Let's see if I... I'm going to have to use my arm and then get it to focus. Oh, it's not showing because of the... Oh, there you go. Can you see what's happening? It's very cool. So they're cracking going lengthwise, which is really cool. So I will do the other side of this, and then I will crack the rest. But anyhow, so we did a lot of different, like, goodies um, so once we get, I have that one last egg to do, and then, um, I have the bunny's face to do, but I can't, well, you guys, his little, his little velvet tail, I cannot, it's so cute. <laughs> so he'll go in there, and then I know we talked about a crown, so I'll look for a crown. Um, didn't mean to do that. That, I wanted to do that. So I'll look for a crown to put on, but I'm going to do his eyes right now when I log off, his nose and his mouth, and then I'll finish cracking the one egg, and then I'll set it all together, and then I will take pictures and, of course, share it with you guys. But thanks so much, you guys. We were here for a long time today, so I was kind of curious. I thought for sure I'd, uh, you know, get taken for singing again for some reason, which I tell you guys, if I ever am singing, that's a very sad day for all of you. <laughs> so I hope you guys have, um, go out and get some, and if you, if you all bright and early tomorrow, well, early for me, so 9 a.m., on Decoupage Queen, we're going to be all over the place, so you're not going to miss this. We're going to be on YouTube, we're going to be on Instagram, we're going to be on like five other places all over Facebook, so you won't miss us. And then at one o'clock, when I am on my um, crafting kit, I'll be using some of the papers, and I'm now I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Take care. Talk to you later.